Shall we have a drink? I'd love a drink. Oh, what would you like? Uh, well, have you got any Campari? That's my favourite. Campari? I bet we have got Campari. It sounds like something we'd have here. I don't think I've got it. What, <coughs> warnings? Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have one as well. Yeah, let's do that, yeah. What do you know when we're doing? Is it Campari? Campari and soda, yeah, that's my favourite, yeah. Really? I mean, oh. <laughs> it's, oh, it's disgusting, actually, isn't it? <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Now, Cheers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about yours, but mine's just sitting there. <laughs> Has anyone got any Gaviscon? <laughs> oh, I have it. Do you want a mixer? <laughs> Here, I want a word for you. Go on, then. The last time I saw you, you tried to kill me. <laughs> I was walking around Trafalgar Square and then you drive your car right by me. Honestly, nearly killed me. I nearly bounced off the bonnet. I was like, oh, you wank. And then, oh, I love Gavin and Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> you nearly killed me. I did, yeah. Why do you hate me? I don't, Alan. I, I, I love you a lot. It's just, um, I needed to get somewhere quick. And uh, my life had to pay. <laughs> it was a sacrifice worth making. <laughs> Where was you going in such a rush? Just the car park. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a new film, Horrid Henry. Yeah. Now, obviously, I know what Horrid Henry is, but there'll be some people who've not heard of it before. Mm -hmm. Who or what is Horrid Henry? Horrid Henry is a character from uh, some children's books, which um, I'm sure many of you will know who have children. <laughs> and um, I didn't really know too much about it, because I don't, I don't have kids, and, and nor do I hang around with many kids at the moment. Um, <laughs> so... Um, <laughs> Um, I thought you might have been meeting some at the car park. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, uh, yeah, it's been made, it was made into a series of cartoons and now uh, they decided to make a live-action version of it in 3D. We've got a little clip of uh, Horrid Henry there. Let's have a look at it. <laughs> oh, disgusting. Kimberly Walsh from Girls Aloud was mm. in it. Yes. What was it like working with her? She was, she was fab, actually. I'd, I'd met her a couple of times before and she's a very, very lovely girl. Of course, she had to deal with the baby through most of that and uh, make it vomit. So, um, it was tough for her to, to stay focused because of the, the baby issues. But did you find with Kimberly, was she getting, like, phone calls and she went, oh, my God, it's Cheryl, I've got to take this, and, like... <laughs> she take a deep breath, Cheryl, get off the ledge, it's all right. <laughs> He sent you a photo of his what? <laughs> was that going on with Kimberly? Uh, she wasn't as that candid, but there were a lot of <laughs> there were a lot of phone calls. Yeah. But you play a dad in it. Yeah. <laughs> I was a bit like, I mean, listen, we're all getting older. None of us are spring chickens. But when you turned up there, did you think, oh right, where's my shorts? I can't wait to be Henry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it was, it was quite a surprise, um, uh, well, that's one word, depressing is another, um, <laughs> but, you know, we, we, we were all, we've all got to grow up, so, uh... But you look too young to be a dad. Doesn't he look too young? He's got that baby... Yeah. That Who said no? <laughs> got that baby angular face that comes down like that. It's Thank nice. you, dear. <laughs> I know, and it, it's, it's something I'm... Because I don't have children, it's something I'm, I'm not really used to, but um, it certainly changed my mindset about having children doing the film. It made you broody. It did make me a little bit broody, I have to say, yeah. <gasps> that was the reaction I was looking for. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it did, it did, actually. And although um, these kids were sort of more grown up than babies, I could yeah. certainly see myself doing it and, you know, I'm sure I can handle the changing of nappies and stuff. I mean, yeah. I do my own, so, yeah. um, <laughs> you know, it's, it, I'm sure it's just a, a small step. Um, talking to babies, your mate James Corden had a little boy recently. That's right. Have you met him yet? I haven't, no. Um, he's... James is in the theatre, so um, Max is in the car outside, so um, I, haven't been, um, <laughs> I haven't been able to, to hook up with him yet, but I'm looking forward to it. And he's getting married next year. He is. And he says it's either you or Dominic Cooper is going to be the best man. Mm. Has he made his mind up yet? Not as far as I know. Um, it, I haven't been told, so that means one of two things. Either he hasn't made up his mind or it's Dom. <laughs> um, 
yeah, yeah. He has known Dom a lot longer, so I think... I mean, that's my excuse, anyway, for when I don't get it. Uh, perhaps I could play some records or something. Yeah, cos you do a bit of DJing, yeah. don't you? I do a little bit here and there as a hobby, yes. Now, in your set, do you have slow dances in there? Do you have an erection section and all that? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think the whole lot is an erection section. <laughs> um, what would you like to hear if I was playing? I like that, um, you know, Labby Sifri. Yes. Something inside so strong. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? I haven't got it, <laughs> but I can get it. I just, would? Oh, please. Yeah. Well, can I ask you about your love life? Mm. You've come out of a long relationship. Yes, I was relieved of my duties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're single, ready to mingle? Uh, well, I'm keeping myself busy, yeah. Mm. You've got an unusual type, though. Yes. I've heard that you're attracted to elves, Eskimos and aliens. <laughs> you should be on a register. Yes, I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sort of like the, the elfin type of lady. Because you're quite elfin, aren't you? You look a bit, you know what I mean? Don't you look like... It's so mystical and like... Are you trying to say I love myself? <laughs> no, I'm not... No, you, you, you get attracted yes. to people... Uh, yes, you do, ...that you yeah. look like. I think that's... you do, yeah, I think that's the thing. And, that's and why practice. I shag dinner ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I get, I guess, um, I, I sort of am attracted to, to girls who sort of have that vibe about them, I suppose. Mm. Um, but just the one stipulation that no cocks. No cocks. <laughs> OK. Mm. Have you ever, have you ever gone back with someone and found out they have got a cock? <laughs> a mistake? <laughs> um, I, I haven't, but I do know somebody who has. No! Oh. Reach down. No. And there he is. <laughs> was it James Corden? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it definitely was. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be in the news of the... Oh, no. <laughs> Before you go, I've got to ask you, what's going on with Gavin and Stacey? Is there going to be a Christmas special? Is there going to be a new series? Um... Pretty sure there won't be a new series. Um, oh! But um, I, I mean, I, I, this is not official information, but I have heard that there may be something next year. Yeah! Good luck with Oliver Matt Horn, everyone. Thank you. <laughs>